And how's it going today? Uh, this is Chris, and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to install new memory into your RAM. Um, if you just bought an iMac, or if you got one for Christmas, or if you got a MacBook Air, or any Apple device uh, last year, and you uh, wanted to add RAM to it, and you don't know how to, or I've never done it before on a Mac, today I'm going to show you how to do it and how simple it is. Um, as you can see, I already have my Mac ready. Um, this is a, I bought mine in May of last year, so this is a 2011 model. But the 2010 is pretty much similar as far as um, hardware design, as far as where everything is located. Um, so the first thing you do, you know, of course, you want to unplug it, turn off, unplug it, and make sure everything is um, unplugged and pulled out from uh, any connections that you have towards the Mac. And second, what you want to do is you want to lay it on a flat surface. But I would advise using some type of a cloth or something to place in front of the uh, glass screen because it is, even though it is a you know even though it is um, break proof, uh, you don't want to get any smudges on it, and it does cost a lot of money to replace it. You can replace it yourself, the screen, but it requires a lot more time and a little bit more money, like I said. So it's just going to be a lot easier just to get some cloths, lay them on a flat surface, and then lay it face down. And then what you're going to do first is you're going to take the butt, as I call it, you want to lift it up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to notice on the bottom you've got your grill here, you've got your speaker grills here, and you've got the middle section which has got three screws in it. This is where you're going to be placing and moving your RAM. You're going to notice you've got three, uh, three screws. What you're going to need is a uh, Phillips, small, Phillips forehead, um, small one, not a big one. Um, I, although you can try using a large one, I tried it and I've almost stripped the, uh, um, I've almost stripped the screws. And if you do that, then you're pretty much screwed because it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt trying to get them out. So my suggestion would be to use a smaller forehead. Or um, what you can do is you can go on to ifixit.com and you can get a tool replacing kit and um, you can use that. But um, basically, what I have uh, will work just fine. Now, what you're going to do is first, you're going to take it and you're going to apply a little bit of pressure to it. It does require a little bit of pressure to unscrew them. The screws do not come out of the grill, so you don't have to worry about wondering if you lose the will you if you lose the uh, if you lose the screws, you won't lose them. They are pretty much stuck in the grill, so you don't have to worry about that. And sometimes if you can't get it to work with a smaller one, like I said, you can change it with using a larger one, but you know, if you do, you know, then you'll have to, you know, accept the consequences. But I can't get it with my small one, so I'm going for the opting for the bigger one. And like I said, you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure to it, not too much, but just enough to where you get the screws loose. And like I said, don't worry if you uh, if you're afraid you'll lose the screws. You won't because they are pretty much stuck in the grill themselves, as you can see. From that, see, there's the screws right there. They are pretty much stuck in there as you can see. Now, if you notice, you're going to have four compartments. As you can see right there, you have four slots. One here, one there, one there, and one there. Now, what you're also going to notice is that you've also got a little black piece of thin plastic that is in between those two 
um, those two memory cards or the memory slots. That's basically to make sure you don't um, screw up your uh, memory. I guess I'm assuming that's what it's for. I've never really figured out exactly what it's for. I just assume it was just something to keep keep the memory cards from touching each other, rubbing, you know, so that you don't end up screwing up your memory card and buying new ones. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these, you're gonna slide them out obviously. Now, in order to get the memory card out, you're gonna have to use some slight pressure. Not a whole lot, but you will need to use some in order to get it out because they're in there. But don't worry, as long as you uh, um, don't have to worry about, um, as long as you don't pull too hard, you should be fine. You're gonna take your black strips that you got you pulled out, and you're gonna pull on them ever so slightly until you get a pop. As you can see, how easily they come out. You're going to do this for both sides of uh, the memory bay. Now, the type of memory that you use for your Mac, um, you can get them in uh, various spots, uh, various places. Um, my suggestion would be not to order them from the Apple Store itself because they're going to charge you $500 for them. I'm not saying that, you know, you know, I'm not saying, you know, don't order stuff from Apple, but as far as when it comes to memory and things like that, they can be expensive on the actual site, on the actual manufacturer's site. My suggestion would be to, um, if you're not sure uh, where, I would try Newegg, or Tiger Direct, Amazon, or even eBay. Um, I bought mine from Amazon. Now, if you're not sure what kind of memory you need, um, I would suggest you can try Crucial.com. Um, that's basically what I did. And um, as you can see, this is the kind of memory that I requires that you need for your Mac. As you can see, it is a Cosairs. Oh, I got the Cosair kind. Um, they're forty-one dollars. These are um, the max you can upgrade on an iMac is sixteen. I'm running twelve right now. So they got the two gigs, the two megs, or the two gigs that came with the Mac, and then I got. Uh, the 8 gigs, the two 4 gig sticks. Um, even uh, with shipping and handling, it's still significantly cheaper buying um, it off of Amazon or eBay than it is actually buying them from, say, Best Buy or even buying them on the Best Buy website or Apple.com because they're going to charge you more because they're more, you know, they're more expensive for some reason. I don't know why they charge you more. Um, but forget the fact that it says memory laptop memory kit. Um, it works just fine in your Mac. It's going to work fine. Just make sure that it's the uh, PC3 uh, 1066 DDR3 memory. Uh, you can easily look this up on, uh, on Amazon or you can use Crucial.com. And uh, that's basically, like I said, you can use both of those and they work just fine. And it just depends on whether you want to order it from Crucial or if you want to order it from Amazon. But those um, are going to be significantly cheaper than buying them from actual website of bestbuy.com or uh, Apple. Now basically okay what you're gonna do is once you get your uh, memory what you're gonna do is you're gonna take them and you're gonna insert them back into the same slots just make sure that you always have your notches facing inward and in the left or facing towards the right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, you take your first one and like I said you're gonna have to apply a little bit of pressure to it to put it in there but trust me if you do it right you won't have to worry about taking it apart and doing it again you're going to take it and you're going to push it till you feel a little notch your notch push into the back you'll know because it'll go up you'll know because it'll slide right in and you can do the same with the top one take it and you're going to make sure they're not touching each other slide in the second part of the bay and like I said, it's going to take a little bit of pressure, not a whole lot, but you're going to really need to make sure that they're in there. And I'm going to tell you why after I'm done. Um, you're going to take your memory slot, and you're going to also slightly use both hands. Use your thumbs. It's a lot easier with your thumbs. And you're just going to ever so slightly use a little force and push them in. And you'll know it goes in because you'll feel a little nudge and push in. And you're going to do the same 
for the other side. Make sure your notches are facing on the inside and that they're facing the right. So you're going to just do the same thing. You're going to pull ever so slightly until they pop out. And you're going to do the same for both sides. Make sure your notches are facing towards the right and you just basically slide them in. Make sure you have some ample light too. And you're just going to push them both back in until you feel the notch push them in. Now you don't have to push them. Now once they're in, they're in. You don't have to keep pushing it to make sure they're in because if you do, you can ruin uh, you can ruin the pins on the memory card. You can you know do a little bit of damage to your Mac. You're going to take your little plastic thing after you're done, slide them in between. Now the reason why uh, I'm telling you to make sure that you have them fully in is because once you put the grill back in, if you don't search your memory incorrectly, if you're, when you try to turn on your Mac, it's going to give you a loud beeping sound. It'll go beep, beep, beep. Now if it does that, um, that means that you didn't install your memory incorrectly, which means you're going to have to unplug everything again if you have plugged in, take it back now, and then you're going to have to make sure that each individual memory card is pushed in. Once you make sure that everything is securely in the bay and make sure everything is in, then you just put the dock back on, turn it back on, and it should start up. And that's pretty much basically how you replace memory and install memory on an iMac. And like I said, if you're not sure which number you need, um, you can always go to the Apple button, go on About This Mac, and it'll tell you what kind of memory you need. Um, you can also go to Crucial.com and you can do the memory scan and it'll scan your memory to see what you can get, what you can max out. Um, as I said before, the uh, max amount of memory you can use on an iMac is 16. I've, he I've heard it was 32, but I haven't seen anything myself that, you know, can confirm that. So I'm just going to go with what I know. Um, you can only max it out to 16. And once you're done, put your grill back in, make sure everything is securely tight. You don't have to overly tighten the screws. Just make sure that they're in there and they get a nice little, nice little, make sure there's nice and snug in there, so you can't turn it no more. Not so much where you have to actually strip the screw. And that's it. And that is how you change and install Mac memory on your iMac. Same goes with, I believe, uh, they work with the 2010 model and the 2011. I'm not sure about the older, uh, older models, but the 2010 and the 2011 models are pretty much the same as far as hardware design. Everything's gonna pretty much look the same. Um, and if you're not sure about the memory, um, as I said, you can check Amazon and you can look for this type. This is the kind I bought that I currently install in my Mac. You can look for that specific one. Or you can um, get the, uh, there's a, I believe there's a 2 8 gig stick you can buy, but it's still going to be significantly cheaper than buying it from Best Buy or buying it from Amazon or um, Apple.com. And don't, and if you're thinking about going into Best Buy to find the memory, um, you're going to have a hard time finding it because for some reason or other they don't keep Mac memory at the stores. I don't know, I don't know if this is for all Best Buys, but I know the one up here they don't. So it's, cheaper just to, my suggestion would be to go actually look online first it's always going to be cheaper online um, but try to avoid uh, apple.com because like I said they charge you $500 for an 8 gig stick so that's pretty expensive for a memory that's you know pretty cheap so um, this is Chris and if you have any other questions you know or any comments just leave me some comments and uh, thanks